Hello friends. Today we are gonna going to discuss about the atmospheric stability and instability, uh, which is one of the most important phenomena for the deployment of the different forms of precipitation, like dew, fog, frost, snowfall, rainfall, etc. So this the forms of precipitation. It depends upon the atmospheric stability and instability. Generally, the stability is caused when there is a no vertical movement of air. No vertical movement of air. That means the stable condition is found. In case of the instability, there is a both the upward and downward movement is occurred. So this stable condition there is a there is no any vertical movement of the air is occurred whereas unstable conditions that is the Downward and the upward, both type of movements has been found. So this stability and instability basically depends on the two factors. One is the normal life rate, what is normal life rate that we know, the increasing temperature, the increasing height, there is a decreasing of temperature at 6.4 degrees centigrade per thousand meters. Or 165 meter or 1 degree centigrade per 165 meters and the adiabatic collapse rate this adiabatic collapse rate that may be the dry or the maybe the moist in case of the dry adiabatic class rate, there is a variation of 10 degree centigrade per 1000 meter and in case of the moist, it is approximately 4 to 10 degree centigrade per 1000 meter. So, So the stability and instability that is the when normal life rate is higher than the dry adiabatic life rate then the air become unstable. And when the normal life rate is lower than the dry adiabatic life rate, then the air becomes stable. For example,
when the dry air the dry duty collapse state of an ascending dry air is higher than the normal collapse state then the stable condition is occurred in this condition the air doesn't get saturated not air doesn't get saturated and not attain the dew point so it becomes colder than the surrounding air for example if the ground surface if the temperature of the air is 35 degrees centigrade okay and the dry duty collapse rate is 10 degrees centigrade and normal collapse rate is 6.5 degrees centigrade per 1000 meter so up to 1000 meter the temperature of this region is 35 minus 10 equal to 25 degree centigrade and the temperature of the surrounding environment is 35 minus 6.5 equal to 28.5 degree so the temperature of the ascending air is lower than the temperature of the surrounding regions does the ascending air becomes colder and the this and uh, the surrounding air would descend and the atmospheric stability is occurred at that conditions whereas in instable unstable conditions or atmospheric instability what happen when the normal collapse rate is greater than the dry duty collapse rate then the instable condition is developed for example if the temperature of a certain air parcel is 35 degrees centigrade and the normal uh, dry duty adiabatic collapse rate and the normal collapse rate is 10 degrees centigrade and now let's let's suppose 11 degrees centigrade then after 1000 meters the temperature of the ascending air is 35 minus 10 equal to 25 degrees centigrade and the temperature of the surrounding region 
you get to 24 degrees centigrade. Thus the rising air become warmer than the surrounding air. That continues to rise and expand and the instable conditions develop. In climatology there are two important index are used to measure this stability and instability conditions. One is known as the lifted index. And another is known as the K index. In lifted index, it deals with the lapse rate and proportional to lapse rate. When this left state and proportion to left state, the differences is greater than the atmospheric instability is developed. Whereas in this K index, it is the measurement of the moisture content. This K index can be estimated like temperature. In degree centigrade at 850 millivolt level minus temperature in degree centigrade at 500 millivolt level plus atmospheric pressure at 850 millivolt level minus atmospheric pressure at 700 millivolt level. So this is the pressure, the dew point. Dew point at 850 and dew point at 700 millivolt level. So this is the formula is used for the estimation of the K index. Thank you for watching.